The kingdom of Ayutthaya, nestled along the fertile plains of the Chao Phraya River in present-day Thailand, stands as an iconic chapter in the rich tapestry of Southeast Asian history. Flourishing from the 14th to the 18th centuries, Ayutthaya emerged as a formidable political, economic, and cultural center, leaving an indelible mark on the region. This documentary endeavors to unravel the mysteries and unveil the splendors of Ayutthaya, shedding light on a kingdom whose influence reverberates through the annals of time. As we embark on this cinematic journey, the overarching objective is to foster a deeper understanding of Ayutthaya's legacy. By unraveling the mysteries of this once thriving kingdom, we aim to bridge the temporal gap and appreciate the enduring impact it has had on the cultural and historical identity of Southeast Asia. Through a combination of scholarly insights, visual reconstructions, and the exploration of archaeological treasures, this documentary aspires to breathe life into the pages of history, allowing audiences to witness the rise and fall of the kingdom of Ayutthaya. The roots of the Ayutthaya kingdom can be traced back to the 14th century, with the founding of a small settlement along the banks of the Chao Phraya River. Legend has it that a prince named Uthong established this early precursor to Ayutthaya after fleeing the collapsing Khmer Empire. Uthong's vision was instrumental in laying the foundations of a kingdom that would grow to become a dominant force in the region. The strategic location of the settlement facilitated trade and cultural exchanges, contributing to its gradual expansion. As the settlement evolved, it adopted the name Ayutthaya, believed to be derived from Ayodhya, the legendary city in Hindu mythology. This nomenclature reflected the cultural and religious influences that shaped the early identity of the kingdom. Ayutthaya's ascent was shaped by a dynamic interplay of influences from neighboring civilizations. The Khmer Empire, Sukhothai, and the Mon people all played crucial roles in shaping Ayutthaya's cultural and political landscape. The adoption of elements from these diverse cultures contributed to the unique synthesis that defined Ayutthaya's identity. Trade, a cornerstone of Ayutthaya's prosperity, facilitated interactions with the Indian subcontinent, China, and the maritime empires of Southeast Asia. The cultural mosaic that emerged from these exchanges is evident in Ayutthaya's art, architecture, and religious practices. The kingdom became a melting pot of traditions, embodying the cosmopolitan spirit of Southeast Asia during its golden age. The gradual consolidation of power and the establishment of Ayutthaya as the capital marked the kingdom's transition from a local principality to a regional powerhouse. Under the leadership of charismatic rulers like King Ramathibadi I, Ayutthaya expanded its territories through strategic alliances, military conquests, and diplomatic maneuvers. The kingdom's military prowess, exemplified by its successful campaigns against the Khmer Empire and Sukhothai, solidified Ayutthaya's status as a dominant force in mainland Southeast Asia. The adoption of administrative structures and legal systems from previous empires, coupled with a focus on maritime trade, further fueled Ayutthaya's rise to prominence. The strategic decision to establish Ayutthaya as the capital city marked a crucial juncture in the evolution of the kingdom. Recognizing the significance of its location along the Chao Phraya River, Ayutthaya was strategically positioned to control both overland and maritime trade routes. King Ramathibadi I, the founder of the Ayutthaya kingdom, formalized this decision in 1350, designating the city as the political and administrative center of the burgeoning state. Ayutthaya's urban planning reflected the kingdom's ambitions. The city was laid out in a grid pattern, with the royal palace at its center. Grand temples and monuments adorned the landscape, emphasizing the kingdom's commitment to both secular and spiritual authority. The establishment of Ayutthaya as the capital solidified its role as the epicenter of power and culture in Southeast Asia. Ayutthaya's political structure was characterized by a sophisticated system of governance that evolved over centuries. At its height, the kingdom was divided into provinces, each governed by local officials appointed by the central administration. The king, regarded as a divine ruler, held ultimate authority, and the concept of kingship was deeply intertwined with Theravada Buddhism. The bureaucracy played a pivotal role in the administration, with a hierarchy of officials overseeing matters of taxation, justice, and military affairs. The legal system was influenced by Hindu Brahmanic traditions, 
with a code of laws known as the Three Seals governing the conduct of the people. This blend of political and religious authority created a dynamic and complex system of governance that allowed Ayutthaya to effectively manage its vast territories. Ayutthaya's political stability and growth were significantly influenced by a series of visionary rulers who left an indelible mark on the kingdom's history. King Ramathibadi I, the founder, established the kingdom and laid the groundwork for its expansion. His successors, such as King Boromatrelokanat, implemented administrative reforms that strengthened Ayutthaya's internal cohesion. King Narai the Great, who ruled in the 17th century, is particularly notable for his efforts to foster diplomatic and trade relations with European powers. During his reign, Ayutthaya experienced a period of cultural efflorescence, marked by artistic achievements and diplomatic engagements that brought the kingdom onto the global stage. The reign of King Narejuan the Great is often celebrated for his military prowess and the successful defense of Ayutthaya against external threats. His contributions not only secured the kingdom's territorial integrity but also elevated Ayutthaya's prestige as a formidable military power in the region. The political landscape of Ayutthaya, shaped by these key rulers, reflects a delicate balance between centralized authority, regional governance, and the influence of religious institutions. The contributions of these monarchs played a pivotal role in steering Ayutthaya through periods of growth, consolidation, and external challenges, leaving an enduring legacy that resonates in the historical narrative of Southeast Asia. Central to Ayutthaya's ascent was its strategic positioning as a bustling trade hub. Situated along the Chao Phraya River and connecting to the Gulf of Thailand, Ayutthaya became a pivotal point for both overland and maritime trade routes. The convergence of merchants from India, China, Persia, and the Arab world, coupled with European traders in later years, turned Ayutthaya into a cosmopolitan melting pot. The markets of Ayutthaya were filled with a myriad of goods, including silk, spices, precious stones, and exotic items from distant lands. Traders and diplomats marveled at the city's wealth, with contemporary accounts describing Ayutthaya as a city of opulence and abundance. The economic vitality derived from trade not only fueled the prosperity of the kingdom but also contributed to its cultural richness and diversity. Ayutthaya's economic policies were instrumental in maintaining its status as a prosperous trade center. The kingdom adopted a pragmatic approach to foreign relations, establishing diplomatic ties and trade agreements with neighboring states and distant empires. The monarchy actively engaged in fostering relationships with European powers, including the Portuguese and the Dutch, who sought to capitalize on the lucrative trade opportunities in Ayutthaya. Trade relations extended beyond mere exchange of goods. Ayutthaya's rulers implemented policies that encouraged foreign merchants to settle in the kingdom, contributing to a flourishing multicultural society. The diplomatic acumen of Ayutthaya's leaders played a pivotal role in navigating the complexities of international relations, ensuring a balance between cooperation and safeguarding the kingdom's interests. While trade formed the economic backbone of Ayutthaya, the kingdom's rulers also recognized the importance of agriculture in ensuring economic sustainability. The fertile plains surrounding the Chao Phraya River were transformed into a productive agricultural landscape. The adoption of advanced irrigation systems, including the construction of elaborate canals and water management infrastructure, facilitated rice cultivation on a large scale. Rice, often referred to as the white gold of Ayutthaya, became a major export commodity. The surplus production not only met local demands but also fueled the kingdom's trade dominance in the region. The agricultural advancements, coupled with a well-organized system of taxation and revenue collection, contributed to Ayutthaya's economic resilience and the ability to weather periods of political uncertainty and external challenges. Ayutthaya's cultural landscape was profoundly shaped by the interplay of religious diversity and cultural synthesis. The dominant influence was Theravada Buddhism, which became the state religion under King Ramathibadi I. The kingdom, however, remained tolerant of other religious beliefs, fostering a harmonious coexistence of Hinduism, Brahmanism, and local animist traditions. Monastic institutions, such as Wat Phrasi Sanfit and Wat Mahathat, played a central role in Ayutthaya's religious and cultural life. 
The monasteries served as centers of learning, where monks engaged in the study of Buddhist scriptures, philosophy, and arts. Festivals and religious ceremonies were integral to the rhythm of Ayutthayan life, creating a vibrant tapestry of cultural expressions. Ayutthaya's architectural prowess reached its zenith with the construction of majestic temples and palaces that stand as enduring testaments to the kingdom's cultural grandeur. The cityscape was adorned with towering prangs, intricate stupas, and sprawling temple complexes, showcasing a fusion of Khmer, Sukhothai, and Ayutthayan architectural styles. What Frasi Sanfit, the royal temple, was a jewel in Ayutthaya's crown, housing golden Buddhas and serving as a spiritual center for the monarchy. What Mahathat, known for its iconic Buddha head entwined in the roots of a banyan tree, exemplified the kingdom's spiritual and artistic achievements. The design and embellishments of these temples reflected not only religious devotion but also the sophisticated aesthetics of Ayutthaya. The cultural flourishing of Ayutthaya extended beyond religious and architectural realms, encompassing vibrant artistic and literary expressions. The kingdom became a patron of the arts, with royal support fostering the development of traditional Thai dance, music, and visual arts. Ayutthaya's literary achievements were particularly notable with the emergence of classical Thai literature. The Chronicles of Ayutthaya, such as the Royal Chronicles of Ayutthaya and the Jinnakalamali, provided invaluable historical and cultural insights. Poets and writers, inspired by the cultural milieu of the kingdom, produced epics and lyrical works that celebrated the splendors of Ayutthayan life. In the realm of visual arts, Ayutthaya witnessed the creation of intricate murals and sculptures, often depicting scenes from Buddhist mythology and historical events. The kingdom's artists excelled in the use of vibrant colors and meticulous detailing, leaving a rich legacy that continues to inspire contemporary Thai art. Ayutthaya's military ascendancy was a cornerstone of its regional dominance, and the kingdom developed sophisticated strategies and military capabilities to safeguard its interests and expand its influence. The Ayutthayan military was characterized by a combination of strategic foresight, adaptability, and a well-trained army. The kingdom's strategic location along the Chao Phraya River and its mastery of riverine warfare allowed Ayutthaya to control crucial waterways, providing both defense and offense capabilities. Additionally, Ayutthaya maintained a standing army with a well-organized hierarchy, incorporating cavalry, infantry, and naval forces. The military was also augmented by elephants, which played a crucial role in battles, symbolizing both strength and strategic advantage. Ayutthaya's military history is marked by a series of successful campaigns and conflicts that solidified its regional dominance. One of the pivotal campaigns occurred in the 15th century when Ayutthaya expanded its territories by annexing Sukhothai and parts of the Khmer Empire. The military prowess displayed during these campaigns showcased Ayutthaya's ability to project power and establish itself as a formidable force in mainland Southeast Asia. The kingdom faced external threats as well, most notably from the Burmese. The Burmese-Siamese wars, spanning several centuries, were characterized by intense military confrontations with Ayutthaya successfully defending its territories in some instances and experiencing setbacks in others. The military resilience displayed during these conflicts underscored Ayutthaya's commitment to preserving its sovereignty. Ayutthaya's relations with neighboring states were marked by a delicate balance of diplomacy, alliances, and occasional military conflicts. The kingdom established tributary relationships with neighboring states, ensuring a degree of regional stability. Diplomatic ties were often reinforced through intermarriages among royal families, trade agreements, and the exchange of gifts. While diplomatic efforts were crucial, military strength remained at the core of Ayutthaya's foreign relations. The kingdom's leaders understood the geopolitical realities of the time and actively engaged in military campaigns to secure strategic advantages. The alliances forged and conflicts resolved had a direct impact on Ayutthaya's military strength, influencing the size and composition of its armed forces. In times of external threats, Ayutthaya's military adapted to the changing dynamics of warfare. The kingdom invested in fortifications, such as city walls and defensive structures, to repel invasions. 
Furthermore, the military adopted new technologies and strategies, incorporating firearms and fortifications to enhance its defensive capabilities. The decline of the Ayutthaya Kingdom was a complex interplay of internal and external factors that gradually weakened the once mighty empire. One significant factor was internal strife and power struggles within the ruling elite. Succession disputes and court intrigues led to periods of instability, diverting attention and resources away from external threats. Economic challenges also played a role in Ayutthaya's decline. The kingdom's prosperity was heavily dependent on maritime trade, and the rise of European colonial powers shifted trade routes away from Ayutthaya. This economic reorientation undermined the kingdom's financial stability and eroded its economic vitality. Additionally, environmental factors, such as natural disasters and changing river patterns, contributed to the decline. Flooding, in particular, posed a recurrent threat to Ayutthaya, impacting agriculture, infrastructure, and overall societal well-being. Ayutthaya faced numerous external threats, most notably from the Burmese kingdom. The Burmese-Siamese Wars, a series of conflicts spanning several centuries, culminated in the Burmese invasion of Ayutthaya in 1767. The Burmese forces, led by King Sinbishan, laid siege to the capital, resulting in a devastating military campaign that marked a turning point in Ayutthaya's history. The Burmese invasion was compounded by internal conflicts and a weakened military. The kingdom's military infrastructure had deteriorated, and internal divisions hindered a unified response. The internal strife weakened Ayutthaya's ability to repel external invasions effectively. In April 1767, after a prolonged siege, the Burmese forces breached Ayutthaya's defenses, leading to the sacking and destruction of the capital. The fall of Ayutthaya in 1767 marked the end of the kingdom's four centuries of prominence. The once proud city was left in ruins, its temples desecrated, and its cultural treasures plundered. The aftermath of Ayutthaya's fall saw the displacement of the Thai population, with survivors fleeing to the south and the establishment of Thonburi as a temporary capital. This period, known as the Ayutthaya Kingdom's post-Ayutthaya era, witnessed efforts to rebuild and reclaim lost territories. The fall of Ayutthaya had a profound impact on the geopolitical landscape of Southeast Asia. It led to a power vacuum, with neighboring states vying for dominance in the region. The emergence of the Thonburi Kingdom, under the leadership of King Taksin, signaled the beginning of a new chapter in Thai history. The legacy of Ayutthaya continues to reverberate through the cultural and historical fabric of modern-day Thailand. The Ayutthaya Kingdom laid the foundations for the Thai nation, and its influence is evident in various aspects of contemporary Thai society. The enduring impact of Ayutthaya is particularly pronounced in the realms of religion, language, art, and governance. Theravada Buddhism, which became the state religion during Ayutthaya's Golden Age, remains a defining element of Thai culture. The rich religious traditions, rituals, and festivals that evolved during the Ayutthayan period continue to shape the spiritual landscape of Thailand. The reverence for temples and religious iconography, evident in Ayutthaya's architectural marvels, remains deeply ingrained in Thai society. The Ayutthayan era also played a pivotal role in shaping the Thai language. Linguistic influences from the diverse cultures that interacted with Ayutthaya contributed to the development of the Thai script. The royal chronicles and literary works from this period continue to be studied, preserving the linguistic heritage of Ayutthaya. Efforts to preserve Ayutthaya's cultural heritage are manifested in the meticulous restoration and conservation of historical sites. UNESCO designated the historic city of Ayutthaya as a World Heritage Site in 1991, recognizing its universal value and cultural significance. The designation spurred initiatives to safeguard the remnants of Ayutthaya's grandeur. Archaeological projects, undertaken by both national and international organizations, have unearthed and restored temples, palaces, and sculptures, offering a glimpse into Ayutthaya's past. These preservation efforts not only contribute to the understanding of Ayutthaya's history but also attract visitors from around the world, fostering cultural exchange and appreciation. The Ayutthaya Historical Park, 
encompassing the central ruins of the ancient city, stands as a testament to the commitment to preserving Ayutthaya's architectural and cultural legacy. Visitors can explore the well-preserved structures, each telling a story of the kingdom's artistic and spiritual achievements. Ayutthaya occupies a central place in the collective consciousness of the Thai people, influencing their national identity and pride. The kingdom's historical achievements, cultural vibrancy, and resilience in the face of challenges contribute to a sense of continuity and shared heritage among the Thai population. Ayutthaya's legacy is often celebrated in Thai art, literature, and popular culture. Folklore and legends from the Ayutthayan era are woven into the cultural tapestry of Thailand, passed down through generations. The Ayutthayan period is romanticized as a golden age, symbolizing a time of prosperity, cultural flourishing, and national unity. The concept of Thai kingship, deeply rooted in Ayutthaya's political and cultural traditions, continues to shape the monarchy's role in modern Thailand. The reverence for the monarchy, coupled with a sense of national pride, reflects the enduring influence of Ayutthaya's political and cultural legacy. In retracing the historical journey of the Kingdom of Ayutthaya, our exploration has unearthed the multifaceted dimensions of this once mighty civilization. From its humble origins and strategic establishment along the Chao Phraya River, Ayutthaya emerged as a regional powerhouse, propelled by economic prosperity, cultural richness, and military prowess. As we conclude our exploration of the Kingdom of Ayutthaya, we stand in awe of the richness and complexity of this historical tapestry. Ayutthaya's rise, flourishing, decline, and legacy exemplify the cyclical nature of civilizations. It serves as a poignant reminder that the echoes of the past shape the present and that the enduring legacy of Ayutthaya transcends the confines of time, continuing to weave itself into the cultural and historical narrative of Southeast Asia.